Namaste beautiful yogis. I designed Interval Yoga as a holistic system for mind, body and heart that combines ancient spiritual yoga teachings with high intensity interval training that will get you in the best shape of your life. I have thousands of testimonies from people that have done and followed my classes for years. Come on to my website and read through them. They're extremely inspiring. On my membership, I have 400 classes and right now I'm adding a three month beginner program that can get you into the more advanced classes. I'm also a brand new mom, so I'm offering a lot of tools for new moms, how they can lose weight, get back in shape, feel positive. My membership is the best offer out there on the internet because it offers you classes for every occasion. So come on over to my website, sign up for my membership, and I'll see you on the mat. Namaste. Namaste beautiful yogis. Today we are doing another 12 minute workout. Um, I will call everything as we go but it's going to be very simple. Lunch, jumps, uh, donkey kicks or booty kicks. It's gonna be intense. This is the third day I'm doing it. So I figured let me record it because I sometimes go in uh, in intervals of three days doing the same workout and then move on to something else. So this is the workout I've done twice already and I'll do it today again. And if I, I don't know if the camera is picking up this, but if I seem to have little redness and dots here, it's because I was just laying on the prana mat. I did a review on it and I'll post it either before or after this video, but look out for it, but it's an acupressure acupressure mat so <laughs> it leaves a little bit of redness right after and um, make sure you're warmed up we're gonna do just a very brief warm up and then we'll begin let's start at the front of our mats roll the shoulders back and down proper posture attention to posture nice deep inhalation bright Outlook on life. As you inhale, feeling that, filling up that center of inspiration with prana. Let's sit back in chair and forward bend. I'm taking a very easy forward bend, I'm going deep into the forward bend, just kind of letting my head be heavy. Vacuum, stomach vacuum and feel how your upper body gets a little longer, elongated. Alright, plank, chaturanga, upward dog, chaturanga. Now we're dog. Inhale the right leg up. Step it behind you. Well thing. And back to plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. Chaturanga. Down dog. Take the other leg up. Open it. Well thing. Plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. Chaturanga. Down dog. Inhale the right leg up, step it through, warrior one. Warrior two, taking wider stance. Reverse it and reach forward. Reverse it, semi side angle, 
one more time, reverse it, reach forward, come out of this, take warrior two facing the back of the room and three times moving here, moving, 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 warrior one, you can step a little closer, closing the hip and come out of this. Are we ready for the workout? 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. What else do I need to tell you about it? Just 12 minutes of work. It's gonna go by really fast and I consider this workout to be a whole lot of fun. I look forward to it. Like I can't wait for it. <laughs> and yeah, we'll get started. Let's get started with burpees just to, to warm up additionally. All right, Sorry, burpees. Five, four, I'm waiting, playing action. Nine, ten for me, eleven, I 
feel it. Feel it in the body, feel it in the quads. Opposite side. Lowering the knee and then springing up.
squat jumps. Squat jumps. Lay on your back and we're going to touch our toes.
opposite side, pigeon. Coming out of it, roll onto your back. Press your elbows down, bridge. You can transition into a wheel. Right knee across from the body, left knee across from the body. Now for the next massage, uh, it may feel a little weird because it is a iliosos massage. You can skip it and just lay in balakonasana feet together. Now, that is the muscle that runs from your rib cage all the way down through the groin, abdominal cavity groin down into the leg. So, here where your pelvis is and pelvic bone, on the inside of that bone, you will find a little muscle. It's not the abdominal muscle, it's different muscle that runs through here towards the groin and you can massage it. It's uh, above the pubic big bone into the creases of the legs, groin area and you can find that muscle and slightly massage it, not, not um, heavy pressure, just gentle pressure because the source is said to be the most spiritual physical part uh, in the body or muscle in the body and it holds wisdom and it also tends to hold trauma and somatics is considered to hold trauma and it is a if you don't get it now just lay like this if you're not finding it it is quite easy to find it's on the inside of your pelvic Griddle and you can lay in Shavasana. I will try to include in the description below the class a little bit of information about the sauce and its function in the body. Now for the bonus part, I will use my pranama for those of you who have a pranama. I will use it from somewhere above my knees, pelvis 
rib cage, upper abs. And I, for today, I'll bring my knees out to the sides. And then I will lay down for the purposes of the video tomorrow in short, but if you're at home, feel free to just wear a bikini or just uh, regular underwear so that you are you're getting the acupressure benefits more and you can lower down onto your hands fists I've been really benefiting from laying on this mat. It's quite intense in the beginning. Now I've grown accustomed to it, and I'm proud to say that I didn't find it as intense, which is good because the first time I laid on it, I thought, "No way, this is not. <laughs> this is not meant for human um, use because it was so intense." And the more I learned to relax with it. The more I experience this beautiful tingling sensation that spreads into the bad body, the tingling happens five minutes in minimum. It doesn't happen immediately. When I lay on it, now I just feel the massage. It is very relaxing, but there is a moment in which it's almost kind of like how runners have a runner's high. It just kicks in at some moment. This also has a moment when it just all of a sudden, ooh, the, this warmth and tingling sensation starts to spread into the body. And I will bring my knees hip width apart and lay down. And now feel free to change the position if you want to have a shorter session but cover a few areas. Feel free to stay here if you have extra time. Here, 
sitting right by the pillow and slowly reclining down. This is a little bit of an inversion, a little bit of a back bend, passive back bend with acupressure massage. This sound is very, very, very relaxing. But for me, the front part of my body is far more relaxing. It's for far more relaxing for there because I've done it a lot more in the front than the back. And the back, I'm learning to soften there as well. It stimulates all the acupressure puncture points uh, along the back. So it can have effect on every part of your uh, physical body, nervous system. It's, it's a form of a meditative state that you can you can enter in just staying in your body, allowing everything to flow. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you with my next class. Namaste.